I mean, first of all, I was so excited um, to just even meet him because I love his movie so much um, that I can sort of, it's all kind of a blur, <laughs> my first meeting. Um, but um, yeah, I think we talked about um, making sure that this was a character who um, was very compassionate. I feel like it's a more grown-up role, so that's nice for me, um, cause, um, you know, it's, it's good to grow up, <laughs> and I think, I think the character in the film is growing up, and, and then that coincides with, like, my growing up as an actor, which is nice. It's nice when you have, like, periods of time in your life that sort of, you know, mirror, um, parts that you play. I mean, you always bring yourself into things whether you want to or not, but yeah, I think that this is, you know, a more grown-up role and and she she's, you know, very smart and she uses humor to sort of diffuse certain situations and she's very she has a lot of nervous energy, which I like too. That's a little bit different. She's a little bit more um, tightly wound, so that's nice. But it's that kind of thing where you, uh, most of the time it's nothing. And I think that, that this is what thrillers play on, is that, is that you'll have these reactions to things and most of the time it's nothing. But in this case, it's something. <laughs> You know, there's actually, you see that fear reaction uh, coming into play and actually motivating something that gets these characters away from the thing that is threatening them. I love working with Knight because he is a, um, he's a real old fashioned director and he knows what the shots look like, he knows what he wants, he knows what the film's gonna be before he makes it. And he knows why he writes every line and he has a specific idea of what everything is supposed to mean in terms of the picture. And he, so it's like, I mean, the director ideally is a person who's guiding us all and has the whole picture in their head at all times and is able to see each little piece of the puzzle as it relates to the whole. And he really does. It's really um, unique because a lot of times I mean, I feel like he is sort of born to do this job, you know. He's born to tell stories. So and so it's just a, a such a treat to work with him as an actor and, and he's just really fun and and on, on set he's always joking around and it's just been such a fun experience, you know. The set is very much like a family. And, and it feels like every person has been hand selected to, to be a part of this family. It's not, there's no accident here. It's very, and no one's acting crazy. It's just like, it's just nice and pleasant and fun. And, and you always get the sense that we're just here to tell this amazing story. Knight has like such a um, such a gift telling these types of stories, and I think part of that is that he's able to get the um, the underlying like human elements of these sort of very scary situations, and that's why people. I think the scariest things aren't you know, the sort of blood and guts and gore and, and all that, the scariest things are um, what you don't know. And, um, and he really, I don't know, he tells it brilliantly. It's unbelievable his sense, his visual sense and the way that he tells stories visually.